two queues disappear as marketers dispense above 165 naira per liter. That you tells you that the scarcity <laughs> was artificial. Mm. It was artificial. The marketers want a price. They are fixed the price. And if the, the general public will not agree to that price, then there will be no fear. Yeah. Now that people are saying, I'd rather buy 185 than suffer in the queue, than spend, or well, than go and buy black market for 350 you know, the petrol st stations are back busy. Yeah. And probably they've changed, adjusted their pump price to 185 yeah. in most places, especially in Abuja. You know, I don't know if that's in Lagos now. My guy told me you pay 300 to buy. <laughs> you know, for mm. at 165, you know, but in Abuja, it's totally 185. And you guess the, 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 the uh, daily choices paper published a graphic yeah. of uh, the pump price at the petrol station. So it appears that now that the marketers have agreed that people will buy 185, there's no longer scarcity. So but is that even right? So that's sufficient. I don't know. The NPC needs to stop them. The, the regulator, the NUMDPR, as they call them now, need to stop them because clearly petrol is subsidized in nigeria and it's subsidized at a fixed cost at the pump for 165. so if marketers with their several problems are now insisting they will go to 185 they're breaking the law you know but again saying that we can see that uh this is a matter of uh, uh people need to survive and once you cannot buy for 165 you suffer you stay in the queues if you want to buy at 165 i mean you stay in the queues you spend long time long traffic you want to buy one and then you eventually not get and buy the black market mm. for maybe double the price. So if it's going to be one eighty five, then you really don't care. And I think it's on that basis, you know, that the regulators are folding their arms and watching. All right, still on the punch, Kuj, four hundred and twenty one fleeing inmates recaptured, four hundred and fifty four at large. You find the story on page seventeen. Recaptured or they came back. I mean, so, if you're finding some, <laughs> it will go <laughs> Nasarawa. I uh, maybe one or two, <laughs> but the other four hundred probably came back. You know, you know the thing about prisoners is that they like when they see this chance to escape, they will run and escape, mm. and then only just realize escape that where? they're not going anywhere. <laughs> escape to where? You know, escape <laughs> to where? <laughs> maybe they're not going anywhere. Mm. You no, know, and probably for the one or two days that they escape, they can't feed. Mm. You know, because I mean, nowhere to go. So they just generally walk back to prison where they can find at least one food a day. You know? So it's no matter how bad. I think, yeah, no matter how bad. Uh, mm. Go feed them once mm. or twice. You know. <laughs> so they, I think they all walk back. I mean, our security agencies are not uh, lampooning them, but generally, it's been a, a series of massive failures, massive fail in the area of intelligence, gathering in the area of being proactive to stop these attacks. You know, they 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 almost succumbed to to the wave of terror attacks in the country mm. in recent times. So, I, I mean, rearresting prisoners, is that a chore, really? Prevent those attacks from happening in the first place. Mm -hmm. You know, prisoners that escape from jail, but it's only one or two of them that you really, really say, you can, like the one that, that was going to go my degree mm -hmm. and decided to go and buy weed first. And you, <laughs> you can arrest that one. That was NDLEA, you know. But the others, really, if they want to escape, why have they not caught the other 500? They've mixed up already in sight and they've gone to where they want to go. The others that are, that are hearing the big numbers are returnees. A largely returning. Speak to a security expert, you know, who is involved in this matter. They'll tell you they are returning mostly yeah. because they found that they're going nowhere, you know. The they can't, most hard. of them can't even come back, go back to their... They, some of them have been in this prison, awaiting prisoners for more than 10 years. You know, there's no, they don't have another home, mm. <laughs> you know. So escaping jail, and they just realize that really, uh, I think it's better in okay. the jail. So they, they returned. Wow. It's unfortunate, really, that this last Kuji attack, really unfortunate. Because it opened our eyes to the reality of the failure in our security systems. Mm -hmm. And it's not just the armed forces, even the uh, the security, the intelligence agencies especially. It was a massive failure of security. The president said so. And that's why we thought that by now, there should have been one or two big announcements as to changing the, the organizational nature of that mm. security gathering, intelligence gathering agencies. But nothing, nothing. The president spoke yesterday. I didn't even bother to talk about that because I said I was waiting for a report, a comprehensive report. How long will it take to send a comprehensive report? Mm. You know, on what, on that, on QJ. Did you enjoy this video? Hit the subscribe button for more. Leave a comment and like. Thank you.